Hey friend, here is your nutrition tip for the day. Protein powder in the now and forever is expensive. Um, especially getting like pure protein. I'm not sure why it should cost more to like put garbage flavoring ingredients. Yet flavored protein is cheaper than like pure whey. So anyways, uh, at the moment, I don't have any protein powder because, again, like getting pure whey protein is pricey. So what do you do in the meantime? Well, I did make a video about coping foods, but the file's corrupted. So long story short, don't eat protein bars. That's mostly what I talked about in that video. Protein bars are horrible for you, okay? Um, because they're mostly carbs and sugar. There's actually, the ratio of carbs and sugar to protein is, uh, you know, it's like, I don't know the exact numbers, so I'm not going to lie to you, but it, it's a lot to a little is all you need to know, right? Or it, even if it is even, the sugar and carbs, which is sugar, outweighs the value of the protein, right? So in, in a man, in a human being with the amount of chromosomes that would consider, would make, you know, consider you to be a man, right? What does, did what I just say, like, make sense? Dang it, if you're born with a wee-wee-woo-woo, -woo, right, and uh, therefore you have the hormones and the chemical, like the chemical makeup of a man, then protein is good. Now, protein is good for everybody, but in this example, protein is good. Protein makes you better at everything, and carbs and sugar are bad for you because carbs are sugar. Sugar kills testosterone, and so there you go. Um, so... Don't be eating that nonsense because there's no point. Um, don't don't eat uh, protein bars, okay? But I just summed up that whole video. But what you should be doing is eating peanut butter. You should be eating peanut butter. If you're allergic to nuts, I'm sorry. You you gotta buy your whey protein then. But um, or you could buy casein protein or whatever. But um, yeah, peanut butter. Peanut butter is so rich, uh, preferably unsweetened. I think if there's an option to eat anything unsweetened, you should take that opportunity um, because we don't, again, we don't need sugar, but the amount of sugar in a protein bar and uh, like the difference between that and peanut butter, like the peanut butter is so much better for you, okay? Um, and you can just eat more of it for less, peanut butter is so cheap. You can have so much more of it for so much less. Top tier snacks ever. Apples and peanut butter. Bananas and peanut butter. I, when I was younger, I used to eat peanut butter on like, <laughs> on like fried tortilla chips. I don't know why you would eat that. It doesn't taste that good. I thought it tasted good when I was like eight, but you could definitely do that. So, peanut butter. I think you ought to aim for a couple what would you, what, what would they be measured in, like teaspoons, table, probably two tablespoons, a couple tablespoons a day, I eat a lot of peanut butter, um, but that's one of the easiest ways to get your protein in, and it tastes amazing, and it's great, chunky is 100% better than smooth peanut butter, like without a doubt, because it actually tastes like, you know, it feels like you're eating nuts, um, that's another one too though, eat nuts, again, if you're allergic to nuts, I'm sorry, you gotta eat the other stuff that costs more, um, I am so sorry that you are evolutionarily defective, <laughs> but uh, I'm talking to you, my friend Alex. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't know if I'm that sorry. <laughs> Love you, bro. But um, anywho, I'm moral of the story. You just need to get really creative with how you get like your nutrition in. Uh, if you're not a creative person, then you eat like shiz balls you eat like crap from the gas station you're like look guys i'm eating no you're not that's not food you're not eating you're just filling your stomach temporarily but also while it eating i would consider eating like taking in the energy digesting it and then oh my gosh guys i have more energy i'm more alive um but the the shib that you buy at the gas station or just snack foods or just regular foods in general um it's not food. You're just like filling your stomach and taking off a day of your life in the meantime. But at least you're full, right? So, uh, food makes me mad because I love food, but like nothing is good for you. Honestly, like a good balanced diet has very simple, simple, simple food items. Single ingredient food items 
and not a ton, depending on like the stage of your life. All right, we're on a bulk. I might even make a whole, that's a bad example, because I might have to make a whole video about bulking just because like, I don't know if I can do it, man. Uh, because of money and digesting. I actually hate digesting food. Uh, it takes too many resources, so I can't imagine eating six meals a day because I have too much important stuff to do. But anywho, that's a whole other topic for another day. Anyways, lesson for today. Get creative. My tip for you, eat peanut butter. But yeah, like I eat peanut butter, I eat nuts, I eat fruits, um, and I eat as many eggs as I can, right? That's, that's a great diet. And in your other meals, put vegetables in there. It's just, there's a lot of vegetables that are like hard to eat alone, you know? Um, they don't really go by themselves. They're always like complementary pieces. I don't know how I feel about vegetables. I think, I think they're weird. Are they good for you? Yeah, but they're weird nonetheless. So, anywho, have a great day. Adios.